Welcome to Global Banking and Finance Review Awards. Global Banking and Finance Review is a leading brand name in the world of finance and banking. Their awards were created to recognize companies of all sizes that are prominent in particular areas of expertise and excellence within the global financial community. This time we're proud to present no less than three awards to AFAC, Islamic Finance. Based in the United Arab Emirates, AFAC provides Islamic finance products and services approved by the AFAC Sharia Board. AFAC provides support for corporate finance, retail finance, property, auto finance and wages protection. Excellent customer service is backed up by state-of-the-art facilities and modern electronic banking services. The three awards from Global Banking and Finance Review are Fastest Growing Islamic Finance Company, GCC 2016 Best Finance Company for CSR Initiatives, GCC 2016 and Best Finance Smart Solutions Provider, GCC 2016 Recently returning to London to receive the award, Nihad Shahin, Secretary of the Board of Directors, and Mr. Mujtaba Nasim, Deputy CEO, who later spoke with us about the success of AFAQ. Well, welcome to London and congratulations on winning these three excellent awards. Thank you. Thanks a lot for the IFM, that for recognition for our services and the products that we're launching in Dubai. But the thing is, it's easy to receive an award any of the year, but it's always challenging to continue for the continuing years by years. Well, uh, it's wonderful to be here talking to you about this. And I'd love to ask you one of the obvious questions. Uh, you've actually enjoyed significant financial growth, or AFAC has. Uh, what do you attribute to that success, would you say? Yes, in fact, the, the growth is always, uh, there's in a challenge we face, feel that the, the people's in the market, the competitors are always there in the market. But in fact, there should be a strategic vision with the leaders that should have a commitment towards that vision also to achieve the ultimate objectives. So Alhamdulillah, the one of the main factor that we have a very strategic vision based on the market sentiments and also the commitment toward, toward that strategic vision. It, it, it's always interesting to talk about uh, businesses around the world. Uh, what would you say the challenges were in getting a business established in Dubai, for instance? See, in any of the regime of the world, when you see that from the business perspective, when we have to see there are three factors that's very keen to, have an, to establish a business. First is that there should be a political stability that that going to uh, support your business sentiments. And the second is that there should be strong infrastructure to develop a business. Third is there should be easy access of the customer and suppliers to that market. So these three factors, I think Dubai is, is marvelous things that to support from the customer and suppliers perspective to be there to do some certain any kind of business. I'm fascinated because you've launched one or two new services. One of them is uh, called AFAC Manufacturing. Mm -hmm. and this is for small and medium businesses, of course. Can you tell us a little bit about how that works and operates? It's historically, if you see this one, that AFAC is the keen to have a business, to have a synergy with the government of UAE. That any of the initiative taken by the government, AFAC is the key, AFAC always the key player role for to instigate things and to take a certain uh -huh. level. So manufacturing is one of the initiatives that, that was taken by the government to support the customers and definitely they relax the policies to bring the people in on the forum. So AFAQ become wants to be the part of that as well because we have a very strategic synergic alliances with the government to support their objectives. And so far, what's the reaction been to the, the AFAQ manufacturing service? The reaction from the, uh, from the perspective from the, uh, from the AFAQ that we need to develop the platform based on the Sharia compliant things. And there's a lot of conventional financial institution in the market as well. But definitely we need to have a get the confidence from the customers that they should, be, they should feel confident that they're a Sharia reliable platform that can serve better to them rather than a conventional for institution. I see. Now, that's just one service. Any other new services that you've been able to introduce? Definitely, we are, we are, we have an, uh, we are always in a proactive role in the UAE market to provide any of the key services or the products in the market. We just we signed the MPay arrangements with the Economic Department of Dubai that to receive all the payments through the mobile phone. So definitely it's going to be the part, at the moment will be part of the UAE. Subsequently, it, it may be on the part of the Global Forum to receive all the fee from the government, for the UAE government could, could be received through the mobile phone. So, so really, it's quite a, a complex technical operation. Yes, it's quite a complex technical operation, yeah. <laughs> and how long do you think it'll be before that's established? Uh, it's, ba it's basically establishes like three to four years in the UAE, but in fact, uh, the major transactions being dealt by the AFAQ so they, they have shown their interest that to be part of AFAQ to 
to have a synergy for the business transactions that can get to the mobile phone. Right. Now, can we talk a little bit about the Islamic financial sector? Mm -hmm. uh, what kind of uh, recent activities have you been doing to promote that? In fact, we are always doing something to develop the Islam Sharia platform. And, and the CEO of the company and the managing directors always, they're looking for something that to unique, to unique platform for the services and the products across the globe. So we are in a phase of developing some materials, professional materials that we can provide on the global level to the different users of the uh, product and services so that it can help the people to develop their product as, product as well. And, and how long do you think this project will continue? Would it be ongoing or it's, is it? It's ongoing. It will remain continue. Okay, mm. right. Uh, and and uh, looking at uh, the other aspect of your business, which would be corporate social responsibility, which I know mm. uh, all kind of organizations like to, to think that they are good at, and yeah. I'm sure you are. Um, what initiatives have you taken there for corporate social responsibility? Would it's you say? it's a quite a big topic to discuss at this small span of time. But corporate social responsibility is very significant for any of the organizations because you can grow for entity to grow a certain level is always, uh, and there is limit to grow a certain level. But after that, you should have a very good governance structure to go beyond this one. So when we talk about the governance structure, it's not the profitability, it's also the people as well. Mm -hmm. So how we can satisfy the both objective to ultimately the, to achieve the objectives for the entity. So AFAQ uh, uh, currently have taken the initiative for the happiness index, happiness for the customer, moisture sada. And this been this been uh, <coughs> really owned by the government of the UAE as well, and they praise a lot for this thing. Inshallah. So, so you actually use the expression happiness yeah, yeah, index, yeah, yeah, which, yes, is, yeah. which is which yeah. is which is excellent. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And has there been good feedback from that as well? A lot, a lot. Even in fact, the UAE government has taken the initiative subsequent to our initiative, and it's now all over the UAE. They want to take this one, that to take the happiness index as a standard. A platform to as, and to assess the entities across the UAE. So it's been very well received then. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Excellent. Yeah. And, and what about your own development plans for the upcoming year? How do you see AFAQ uh, developing? See, the sky is the limit basically. The thing is that always we need to grow to a certain level. We always want to be proactive and to bring something new for the people that to grow further. Definitely it's a challenge, always a challenge to grow further because the people are running behind you as well. That we are bringing a lot platform uh, for the benefit of the community and the services and the uh, community and the people as well. So it's a op it's an open platform to grow further, yeah, definitely. It looks like you've got some challenging times yeah. ahead, but yeah. uh, nevertheless enjoyable. Thank you so much for coming and Thank talking you. to us today, and congratulations once again on those awards. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Thank you.